Hi everyone, this is the Dispatch for Thursday, May 21st. Today is a special day in the church year. It's not just a normal weekday. It is the ascension of the Lord. That is the day that we mark that moment when Jesus ascended into heaven. And uh, we are still in the season of Easter, as I was discussing yesterday. We are now 10 days away from the day of Pentecost, which is Sunday, May 31st. When uh, on Pentecost, that's when the Holy Spirit descended upon the disciples and it marks the beginning of the church. Uh, ten days before that is when we mark the ascension. So Jesus ascends into heaven and sort of leaves his disciples waiting and wondering, waiting for the Holy Spirit to arrive, waiting to know uh, what they're supposed to do and how they're supposed to continue as the church. So we begin that waiting period now as we mark ascension today. And because it's that special day, we have a different kind of reading uh, list for the day. We have additional readings, multiple psalms. Um, so we start with the very beginning of the book of Acts. The book of Acts is the same, has the same author as the Gospel of Luke. It's a continuation of the narrative. It goes from the story of Jesus right into the story of the church. And the book of Acts begins with the ascension. So it is Jesus ascending to heaven and promising the power of the Holy Spirit Jesus says, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. You will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. That is the promise. And then they wait. They wait for the Holy Spirit to come. Um, I had mentioned yesterday that it was our last day with Psalm 93. Of course, I was wrong. We have Psalm 93 throughout the whole week. Today, we also have Psalm 47. Both of these psalms are about God becoming king. They are praising God as king, um, as being enthroned in the heavens. And the connection to ascension there, of course, is that Jesus is now sitting at the right hand of God. Jesus is now also enthroned in heaven. And we see that language in Ephesians chapter 1, which speaks of the exaltation of Christ up to the right hand of God. It says that God has put all things under his feet and, importantly, that God has made him head over all uh, things for the church. And that's a fundamental understanding for us as Presbyterians about who we are as a church and how we operate. Jesus Christ is head of the church. And then we end with uh, Luke's gospel, chapter 24. We are very near the end of that gospel here. Um, Jesus uh, gives his instructions to his disciples about waiting and receiving that power from on high. And then we get sort of a um, the ascension in brief, just a real brief mention of the fact that Jesus uh, ascends into heaven. That will be more completely filled out as we saw in the book of Acts. So those are our readings for this day, this uh, special day in the church year. And that's it for this morning. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you again tomorrow.